Welcome back to Solo Budget with two cats. For some reason, every time I'm going to say this intro, I need to think about what's my channel's name. <laughs> okay, today we are just going to kind of like chit chat, but also update about tiny stories about my budget, kind of related things. First, the other day, uh, during week two, the other day, I found out I have some money left in one of a bank's account that I haven't used for so long. When I say so long, it's probably a couple years already. I even deleted that bank account app from my phone already. So this and that, blah, blah, blah. I forgot the password, even the username that I need to use if I want to log in. Normally I write it down on a notebook, but for some reason, I cannot even understand what I wrote <laughs> from that notebook about that account. Therefore, I only know there is an info on that notebook that what's the password for my debit card of that account. So the only way I can get the money out is from, um, you know, withdrawing with that card instead of transferring um, from the not using account, this one. So this is the account I found too bright, sorry. The account that I found I have very little money in, but it's just so nice to find you still have money in it. This amount of money I cannot just transfer through the app to the account that I'm using very constantly. So I need to withdraw with the car at the ATM and I find out um, because ATM normally do not provide um, withdrawing it under a thousand or, or maybe it's because the ATM I found only provide like bigger dollar bill so a hundred is not included in that case Usually withdrawing, you need uh, 5 NTD for the fee of withdrawing as long as the ATM is not owned by the account where you're gonna withdraw the money from. And that's the case of this bank. So I know I need to have 5 NTD to withdraw. Even if I can find a smaller dollar bill ATM, after deducting the five NTD, I won't have a full $100 bill to withdraw. Which means I need to transfer from the bank account that I use. I transfer, um, Originally, I, I could actually just transfer one NTD, right? But because the ATM I found that day only provide a thousand NTD dollar bill, which means how much do I need to transfer there? I need to transfer 901 NTD. So now this bank account have a thousand and five NTD. And then I use the credit card, not the credit card, the debit card to the ATM and withdraw 1000 and then of course you're gonna take 5 NTD from my account which means now this bank account, no money, I can peacefully um, really delete <laughs> the app again <laughs> after trying to lock in but um, not successful. There's no success to trying to 
and then I get the money. So actually, how much I get? Ninety nine and DD. It's not a big amount, but I'm just happy I get to manage it and then get the money out. Woo! Okay. Another story is, um, if you watched my intro video about this, like talking about how much money are included um, in my, what is that called? Bank balance right now? <clears throat> I do have the money that haven't got sign assigned with a title, a name, a job to them yet. And I mentioned I might put them into like emergency, maybe, you know, like bump this up a bit or uh, sinking funds, which is like maybe for scooter, for home, for whatever. Mm, for my pets, for stray cats, all of those. Or I can put them into investment account, which is this one, okay? I say if I ever gonna do something with this amount of money, I will record it. And just a couple of days ago, I found out I still owe my ex fiance some money. Normally, I don't like to borrow money from others, but in some video I mentioned, I teach online with foreign students. They pay me in US dollar through PayPal. There are a, there were a couple years that US dollars currency and NTD currency rate is not so good for me. So I didn't exchange them for a couple years. That cause my bank account didn't have NTD dollars for my um, daily life expense, like my bills, my phone bills for buying food for my cat and just for grocery and stuff like that. So at that time, I mentioned this to my fiance back then, before we broke up. Um, he say, oh, you can just take money from me and then you don't need to kind of like sacrifice with that low currency rate, you know? And you can save the US dollar for later on when the rate is better and then you exchange them into NTD, that will be better. And then I say, okay, then I will write down a, what is that kind of sheet or note that you write down me solo budget with two cats, borrow blah 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 amount of money from someone someone. I don't know what's that called. That's called borrowing sheet. Okay, so I write down the borrowing sheet for him to him on um where I put it. We we, we use the messenger Think not the messenger, not like the Facebook messenger. It's the line. It's kind of like WhatsApp, but the one that we use more in Taiwan. I saved the note in our conversation um, thing. So there's a notebook, you can put things in it. And there's an album you can put in between these two people's conversation and stuff. So I put that borrowing sheet within our conversation. And then the other day, I find out I still owe him some money because I want to make sure I deleted everything within that conversation thing, including our photos, our uh, photo album, and a lot of stuff. I want to make sure. And then I find out that borrowing sheet there. And so what I'm thinking is, I gonna take that amount of money aside and then just put it somewhere else. Well, still in the bank, but I mean, you know, not gonna 
touch that specific amount of money. I am planning on making that more visible for me, like make myself clearly know there's a specific amount of money I shouldn't touch. He, he, he hasn't responded to me about that thing yet. I did message him and tell him, oh, uh, I think there's a still an amount of money I haven't give you back. He hasn't responded yet. Maybe he blocked me, who knows? <laughs> but I'm gonna still set that amount of money aside. And then we will see. What I'm gonna do is I am making a tracker for myself. And it's about <laughs> that amount of money. I'm gonna just coloring them and stuff and clearly show you by the end of this month, I think, because I haven't print that out yet plus i will give you the actual amount of money i'm going to put into <clears throat> my sinking fund so i can kind of have a what is that called tracker saving challenge thing that i can show you so by the end of this month i'm gonna show you also that piece of paper not the borrowing sheet <laughs> but the tracker that I make myself for, remember, <laughs> there's a month of money I shouldn't touch. <laughs> and then one day, hopefully get in touch with him. Well, I, do, I don't want to get in touch with him, but I do want to get it done. Like, understand what that amount of money going to like if he gonna accept it or is he uh say ah uh, no need to whatever i don't know but i gonna set that amount aside anyway so that i don't accidentally just put um this amount of money completely into my um investment account or somewhere else you know yeah so that is it about the story <laughs> so today this video is shorter than usual and it's just two tiny stories that i want to share you with which is related to my budget my money and stuff so yeah i'm glad i have some other money that i haven't assigned them a name for a job for a title for it so i can just you know allocate them into paying off that amount of money i will see you guys next time and i don't know when that will be probably oh maybe i will have a happy mail video for the stationery that i bought just a few tiny things and so it can be a shorter video, which is nice, probably. I will see you guys next time. And thank you for watching. If you like it, hopefully I can earn a like from you and maybe a subscribe from you. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye.